In the last video, I showed you how you could change the color of a dome on an HSM 200 based on things that happen in your house. And one of the examples I used was with a couple of different doors. I had a door on the left. When I opened it, it changed the dome to green. When I opened the door on the right, it changed the dome to blue. When I opened both the doors, it changed the dome to red. And when I closed both the doors, it turned the dome off. And so in this video, I want to show you how the programming is done in order to make that happen. First though, I want to show you what an HSM 200 looks like when you include it into a home seer system. As you can see here from the screen, you get motion, temperature, and light devices but you also get a color control device and that's the device that we're going to that I'm going to focus on in this video okay as you can see the device controls include all of the colors that you can change it to alright so let's go take a look at um, the events that I've created and I've tucked them into a group called alerts here there's only just four events one event is going to turn the dome blue one event will turn the dome green, one event will turn the dome off, and one event will turn the dome red based on a different combination of those doors being open and closed. Let's take a look at just one of the events though. Now, this one here, this is the one that's designed to turn the dome green if the door on the left is open. Now the door on the left is triggered with a door sensor, so that's what we're going to be using here is a combination of uh, triggers and conditions that involve both of the door sensors. Now, why do I have two different sets of triggers and conditions? Well the reason for that is this. If I want to turn the dome green the trigger can be the door on the left opening or it can be the door on the right closing. Right, So we have two different things that can set this event off. So we need to make sure in the event programming that we account for both of those situations. So in the first group we have if the door sensor changes and becomes open, that would be the door on the left becoming open, and the condition is that the door sensor on the right is closed. So we've accounted for that there in the first grouping. In the second grouping it's if the door on the right closes, that's the trigger, and then the condition is the door on the left already being open. So as I say, in either case, you need to account for all of the possible trigger and condition combinations. So based on that now, I'm going to change the color of the dome to green. It's exactly the same process with all of the other events and it's going to look the same as well. So two different groupings accounting for both triggers and both conditions. And that's basically how it works. I hope you found the video helpful and if you have any questions obviously contact HomeSeer. Happy programming!